Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> What's filled with notes and measures and has five lines and four spaces? A staff. <laughs> A staff. It's music matters. The Jack. Music matters with Jack. A staff. S-T-A-F-F is used to notate music. One can write music on a staff, so another can read, play, or sing the music without ever hearing it. Music notation. Think of it as a book, but it's a song instead. Here is an example of notated music. It is usually called sheet music. Do you notice anything familiar? If you said the treble clef, then you are correct. The treble clef is placed to the far left of a staff. It tells the reader which lines represent which notes. And as we learned last time, the treble clef circles around the G line. The staff has five lines. Let's count them now. One, two, three, four, five. Five lines total. The staff also has four spaces. Can we count them? One, two, three, four. Four spaces. So a note like do will be lower on the staff, and a note like do will be higher on the staff. If we look at these two notes, which note is the higher pitch? Great! We know from the last episode that the treble clef circles around the G line. But what does that even mean? If you see any note on that line, it's a G note. The first line is E. The second is G. The third is B. The fourth is D, and the last is F. E, G, B, D, F. One way of remembering is every good butterfly does fine. Silly, but it will help you remember. Every good butterfly does fine. So what note name is this? If we use our every good butterfly does fine, we would know that that note is an F. The spaces have letter names as well. The first space is F, the second is A, the third is C, and the last space is E. The spaces spell face, F-A-C-E, face. What note name is this? If we use face, F-A-C-E, we would see that the note is a C. Deep Matter. If we look again at the sheet music from earlier, we see the treble clef and notes on the lines and in the spaces. Let's name the notes. F, F, but it's a higher F, an octave, D, C, B, A, G, F. But what are the other things that we see? The four over four, which is 4-4, four, four, tells us the time signature or the meter of the song. The vertical lines are called bar lines, and they help divide the music into clear divisions called measures or bars. How many measures do you see in the staff? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Five measures in this staff. Let's look again at the staff. For the lines, every good butterfly does fine. And for the spaces, face. The lowest line starts on E, then the space F, then the line G, but next is a space A, then B, C, D, E, and then F. Did you wonder why we didn't go to H after G? Well, in German music, they do have an H note, but we're not even gonna go there today. <laughs> Let's just say for now, just like we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Low notes to the bottom, high notes to the top, ah. The staff tells the notes where to go. 
Travel clap to the left so you know Every good butterfly does fine for the lines and face is for the spaces. Thanks for watching friends. Go to our website to download the staff worksheets. And I hope you join us next time for another Music Matters with Jack. I'm Jack, that's Treble, and you are amazing. God bless. Bonus to the bottom, minus to the top. Staff tells the notes where to go. go. Travel clap to the left so you know. Every good butterfly does fine for the lines and faces for the spaces and faces for the spaces and the faces for the spaces